Hello and welcome to another Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to be learning about the difference between overloading and overriding. Here I have a class called employee. As you can see, it has two properties, ID and name. Each of the property has a getter and a setter. I have another class called part-time employee, which is a child of employee class. As I've told, taught you in the past that the word extends is used between the child class and the parent class as a way to connect the two. So this allows the child class to inherit everything that is parent class, which is public or protected. Anything private in the parent class will not going to carry over. So this child class part-time employee has two of its own properties called hours work and rate. For each of them, it has a getter and a setter. So this is basically the setup for this particular example. We have already talked about inheritance in the previous example. So that is why I will, I jumped ahead and directly went and uh, created these classes so that we can only concentrate on overloading versus overriding. Now let's try to understand what exactly is overloading. Again, uh, overloading is something that we have talked about in the past. Just as a refresher, overloading is a concept which allows a class to have more than one methods with the same name, provided that they have the different list of parameters or different number of parameters. For example, I can have a method called display in an employee class, which takes no parameter. And I can also have a display method in the employee class, which can take more than one parameters or more than zero parameters. So since both methods will be called display, but one will take no parameter and one will take one parameter, that's why both of them will going to be considered as overloaded. This overloading behavior can also happen between a parent and a child class. For example, I can have a display method in the parent, which takes no parameter, and I can have a display method in the child with one parameter. This will also be an example of overloaded. Why is that? Because the child has access to both kinds of display, one from the parent, which takes no parameter, provided it is public or, pro or protected, and the one which it has defined locally, which takes one parameter. So there are multiple ways overloaded can happen. So we're going to do an example of overloaded, and then we will going to transform the example to work with overrided. So let's look at overloaded behavior between parent and child. In order to practice this, let's create public void display. And I'm creating a display method. In this display method, I would like to call the two getters of the employee properties. So as you can see, I have called these two methods inside my display method. One allows me to display the employee name and the other one allows me to display the employee ID. Now let me copy this display method and go to the part-time employee and I will going to paste it here. And the only difference I'm going to make between the employee class and the part-time employee class display methods is that the display method here in the part-time employee, I would like to pass some kind of a string message, which I would like to display right here, system.out.println. And I would like to display this message here. And Instead of displaying employee name, I would like to display employees hours worked, for which I will going to call the method get hours worked. And for employee, instead of ID, I would like to display the rate. So I'm going to call the method called get rate. So 
this is where I have set up two sets of display methods one in the parent class employee let me save the changes which takes no parameter and one in the part-time employee which takes one parameter now let's exercise this just so that you can see how part-time employee have, will have access to both versions of the display method so I would like to create a class called demo overload and override so we will going to do override in the same example we have not yet done override but in this example we're going to concentrate uh, mainly on this concept and I'm going to create on my next tutorial in which I'm going to concentrate on override so here we would like to create an employee class object emp1 equals to new employee and I would like to also create a part-time employee object called emp2 equals to new employee <clears throat> now going uh, new part-time employee and we will going to set some of the properties over here for employee one um, as you can see it has access to the set ID method and it has access to the set name method and we would now like to also look at EMP2 which was has access to as you can see it has access to two of the methods from the parent which is set ID and set name and two of the methods from the child which are set hours work and set rate so we will going to uh, set both of these uh, all four of these methods so we will going to now set the name here and we will going to set the hours worked um, which is 34.5 and we would also like to set here uh, the rate which we will going to give a value of 23.55 okay so now once these are done remember we uh, that's why we created them double so that we can use these decimals now if I say EMP1 dot you can see that it only has access to display method without any parameter system dot out dot print ln just as a line separator and now let's look at EMP2 and notice it has access to both kinds of displays one which takes no parameter and the one that takes one parameter so we're gonna call both of them for employee 2 because employee 2 needs access to both of them so we have a display method here which is basically tapping into the employee class and we will also going to have a display method so we're going to pass over a message part-time employee information is basically the message I would like to pass over here so this is uh, the overloading behavior which we're now going to test so let me try running this application here and as you can see over here that employee name Sam and employee ID 1011 that is a result of the display method that's in the parent and employee name Sarah and employee ID 1045 part-time employee information now that is the message that we passed over in the display method that is in the child and this is the hours worked and the hourly rate uh, that we have passed over into uh, the child class from the main so considering this example we have noticed that how overloading can happen between the parent and the child between the parent and the child so in our next tutorial we will going to be exercising how overriding works between parent and the child and then I will going to explain to you what exactly is overriding hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel have a great day thank you very much